Hey guys, so I just wanted to share the geared rotating engine stand that I just finished putting together. I have another engine I need to build, and last time when I was turning the engine over back and forth by hand, it became quite a, a pain in the ass. So I wanted to do something different and make it a little bit easier on my back and on myself. So I'll show you what I did. It's really easy to duplicate. There's a couple key parts you need and they're not very expensive and it's going to make building an engine so much easier. So I'll walk you through it, show you uh, what I did to make it work and how it works in the end. And if you want to build one, it's not hard to do. A little fab work and measuring and you're good to go. These are the parts I used. Um, basically, they are semi-truck brake parts. This is a brake slack adjuster. Um, it's a geared unit that takes up the, uh, the brake wear in a semi-truck as the brakes wear over time. And then the other main component is the um, S-cam shaft, and that connects the uh, brakes together. I cut mine short and then welded it onto the engine mount and used a couple pillow blocks to support everything. I did have to space it up. I should have, uh, should have accounted for the load of an engine. Um, I spaced it up maybe about a quarter inch. Uh, it was leaning down a little bit, so spaced it up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what the gearing is on the slack adjuster, but it's pretty steep gearing as far as uh, the rotating speed. Kind of have to be careful turning it over because if I go full throttle on my impact, um, it would whip it right around. So I just ease into it with the impact. You can also turn it over by hand and it's way easy to turn it over by hand with a ratchet or something similar. So here's how it works. Little uh, 3 8 inch DeWalt impact and just kind of ease into it. So that's it, works really well. It's gonna be handy for building an engine, um, having to spin it over back and forth uh, while putting it together. There wasn't much to it as far as the parts. I think grand total um, with the semi parts, the pillow blocks, I'm into it like 120 bucks and I had the plate sitting around. So not bad, pretty cool for what it is and definitely handy. So if you wanna replicate it, I'm gonna post uh, the part numbers and links to where I got them and you can build one of your own and save your back next time you're building an engine.